the credit bureaus don't like us at all. They'll do whatever they can not to do an investigation when you send that letter in. So I want to show you a simple and effective way to knock them out. So sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink. We about to get straight into it. To today's class, I want to show you a simple but effective way to knock the credit bureaus out because you already know they like to play crazy. So I want to show you what you need to do, whether you have a collection, charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan, child support, it doesn't matter. I want to show you a process that can help you get things removed, whether your accounts got reinserted, whether the credit bureaus didn't respond to you, if your accounts came back verified, what you need to do to remove them hard inquiries, and most importantly, if you have personal information, different variations of your first name, last name, middle name, anything, right? That, that's holding your credit score back, I wanna help you through the process because you already know the credit bureaus don't really wanna do nothing, all right? So how can you fix your credit? What do you need to do? It's a process to everything, all right? Whether that is trying to remove personal information, whether if your accounts came back verified, there's a process to do anything and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step by step. I'm gonna show you everything, all right? How to create a letter, how to file a complaint, where you need to go, everything, all right? So what do you need to do if the credit bureaus don't respond to you? How do you go about doing this, all right? We're gonna use the law, of course, we're gonna use the CFPB, we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna create a letter. And I'm gonna walk you through the process really quick on how to actually do this, but most importantly, how can we leverage the law to you in our favor to get these things removed from your credit report? So what you wanna do is use 15 USC 1681 IA1A, all right? So subject to subsection F, and accept as provided in subsection G, and the completeness or accuracy of any item of information contained in a consumer file at a, con at a consumer reporting agency is disputed by the consumer and the consumer notifies the agency directly or indirectly through a reseller of such dispute, the agency shall, free of charge, conduct a reasonable and reinvestigation to determine whether the disputed information is inaccurate and record keyword, the current status of the disputed information or delete the item from the file in accordance with paragraph five before the end of the 30 day period beginning on the date on which the agency receives that notice of dispute from the consumer or reseller. All right. So basically if the credit bills, what don't respond to you in 30 days, typically in 30 days or do, you know, 35 days, right? Cause they have five days to actually send you a letter. If they don't respond to you in 35 days, what do you do? Here's the law that we can use. And most importantly, what you want to do next is file a complaint. And let me walk you through the process on how to actually file a complaint. First things first, you want to go to CFPB, log into CFPB, create an account. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and create one. And now you're going to be on a screen that looks similar to this. All right. Now what we want to do is click on credit reporting. I'm going to walk through this really quick. All right. Credit reporting again, then click on next. Now we should be on a screen that looks similar to this. Um, improper use, problem with companies, problem with a company's investigation to existing problem. Um, the investigation took more than 30 days. All right. Have you already tried to fix this problem? Yes. Did the company request? No. And then click on next. Now, basically your complaint want to be very detailed, but most importantly, we're only talking to one specific credit bureau. So if it's TransUnion, you want to be talking to TransUnion. If it's Experian, you want to be talking to Experian. If it's Equifax, you want to be talking to one person at a time. And then whenever, whoever don't respond, you go to the next person and it's Equifax or TransUnion, vice versa, or whoever it is, all right? So you only, like I said, you only want to talk to one specific credit bureau at a time person that didn't respond. If all of them didn't respond to you, still create a separate complaint, all right? Cause I don't want it to get mixed up. So I was looking at my report and noticed there were some things that was not correct. I sent the letter to Experian on December 1st, 2023. Here's my tracker number one, two, three, four, but it's been more than 35 days since the credit bureaus haven't responded. And that's a violation of 15 USC 1681 A1A, all right? And there's basically I uh, stated the law under this, all right? I'm not gonna read over the law because we already talked about the law. So what is a fair resolution? What you want is to actually for them to delete those accounts. All right. So list out the accounts that you want get, that you want deleted. So um, just put something like this. All right. Account name, account number, remove account due to violation of 15 USC 1681 I um, A or 1A. Right. So and then remove account from my credit report and just list all the accounts you want to remove from your credit report. And you can also attach the letter that you sent 
previously with the tracker number and things like that. You can actually show everything that you did already. And then all you have to do is just click on next. And since I'm talking to Experian as an example, all we want to do is just look for Experian, Experian information, same as a pairs on your credit report, date of birth, and then just input everything you want. Um, input everything. Do you want to complain with another company? No. And on the next screen, on the next, when you click on next, what's going to pop up is um, you verify, make sure everything is correct and just wait, right? So now that you waited, technically you waited your time. It's going to take um, 30 days. They're going to ask for a 60 day extension, but usually it just takes 30 days. And what's going to happen is you'll start seeing some of your accounts fall off. It, if it doesn't, that's okay. All right. We're going to move to another process. So what do you do next? What you want to do next is actually um, create a letter, right? If none of your accounts come off, we just got to start the process all over again. So you want to create a letter, but not this letter, all right? You want to use this letter to actually get the accounts off your credit report. We're just going to go through the process over again, all right? So you want to send a secret letter 2.5. So you want to put the account name, account number, reinvestigate the completeness and accuracy, and just put all the accounts that didn't come off your credit report. And we're going to do the whole process again. But most importantly, you also want to get it notarized, all right? Make sure you send it certified and wait your time, okay? Now, what do you do next? if your accounts came back verify all right so if your accounts came back verify it's a process to this all right and the process what it looks like is guess what you reap what you sow so the process of you reaping these benefits is what you want to do is compare reports all right from this month compared to last month did they if your stuff came back verified did they actually update it did they modify did they do what they said they did on that investigation and I'm pretty sure they didn't. If you compare reports and look to see, hey, did they update the open date? Did they um, do the date last active? Did they update last reported? Did they update the status of everything? Did they check everything and make sure it's completely accurate? Pretty sure they did not. So guess what? Now you have um, something that you can use to get it removed from your credit report, all right? So if they update and verify, what do you do next? What you wanna do is actually create a letter. And let me show you the letter that you need to create. Walk you through the process of how to create this letter to then leverage this letter to help you get things deleted from your credit report, all right? So it's time to write this letter to knock the credit bros out. So you wanna put your first name, your address, the date, who you're talking to, Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, right? Dear whoever, I am writing to request a detailed description of the investigation process followed by your agency regarding the disputed accounts on my credit report pursuant to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-7. Under this section, 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-7, credit, credit reported agencies are obligated to provide a description of the investigation within 15 days of receiving a consumer dispute, right? And then what you want to do is list those accounts, all right? Name of the account and account number. Provide the description of the procedure of the investigation used to verify this account if you can't delete this account immediately, all right? So what you want to do is list all the accounts that you have on your credit report, all right? So I just had an example of one, two, get it notarized. And then what we want to do is wait our time, wait 15 days, all right? So from the time they received it, send it certified. So from the time they received it, we want to wait 15 days. And guess what we're going to do next? If they don't respond back to you um, within 15 days, now what you want to do is actually go ahead, file a complaint. And I'm gonna walk you through a process on actually how to file a complaint with the CFPB to get these accounts removed from your credit report. All right, so sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So now you should be like, we already went through the process of how to use CFPB, but we on this process and I'm just basically going to change it up. So problem with company's investigation into the existing problem. And then the investigation did not fix a error on your report. Have you already tried to fix this problem? Yes. Did you request information from the company? No. All right. Well, typically yes, but we're going to put no. All right. Now, what you want to do is just wait. Now, what you want to do is this is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this. And then, so you, when you write your complaint, you're basically telling them, I'll let them, well, I'll let them report back on December 1st. And those some things are incomplete and not accurate. I sent the letter on December 2nd to Experian. Remember, only talking to one credit bureau, either Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And I asked them to investigate the complete accuracy. I received the results and noticed they did not fix nothing. They're breaking the federal law, all right? According to this law, 15 USC, I don't want to read all this law, but everything has to be complete and accurate with that specific law, all right? Next, what you want to do is, so then I asked them to provide me a description 
and they didn't do that as well all right and then you basically also talking about all the other laws that they're breaking they didn't update they didn't modify they didn't do nothing all right now what's the fair resolution for this what we want to tell them is to actually delete these accounts due to breaking these violations all right so let me show you really quick what i'm talking about so same thing same process what we want to do is um copy and paste so name account number delete this account immediately because of violation of 15 usc 1681 s-2 and all the all the and all the other laws that they broke due to um multiple violations all right and then what you want to do is upload the document showing that they broke these violate i mean that they violated you and then what we want to do is click on next and it's really simple remember we're just going to follow the same process of doing this as well so just look for experian or whoever you're talking to and it should pop uh, populate um name name as a pair date of birth and that as well so just input all that your information social date of birth name as appears on your credit report all right did you complain with another company yes um i mean no we're not gonna play with another company and then click on next and then just wait on the next page all you're doing just verify and make sure everything is complete and um everything is good to go and wait your time now what's going to happen is they're going to say we need some more time and things like that all right so they're going to say we need additional 60 days but like i said before it usually take 30 days and then you just wait so now that you understand that process, how do you remove these hard inquiries on your credit report, all right? Now, I talked about this in another video, but most importantly, since you're on here, let me give you the game, all right? So when you wanna remove them hard inquiries off your credit report, you don't wanna use Identity IQ. What you wanna do is call the credit bureaus, call TransUnion, call Experian, call Equifax. What's gonna happen is they're gonna send your report, all right? Now, you can't use annual credit report because there are spe there's specific information that looks similar to this and you're going to be able to leverage that information to get your things removed from your credit report let me show you an example hopefully you can see this but here's what i'm talking about your inquiries should say permissible purpose and some is not going to say permissible purpose here's an example as you can see this has permissible purpose these hard inquiries have permissible purpose this one has permissible purpose but if you can see this right here bank of america doesn't have permissible purpose all right syncb doesn't have nothing all right this doesn't have it. This doesn't have it. This don't have permissible purpose. This one has it. As you can see, this one doesn't. These one don't have permissible purpose. So what can you do to leverage that? You want to create a letter. And I'm going to show you how to actually create a letter to actually remove these inquiries off your credit report using the law. All right. So now it's time to create a letter to remove them hard inquiries off your credit report. All right. As you know, put your name, put your address. All right. Put the date. But the credit bureau's name, who are you addressing this to? All right. So are we talking to Experian? Are we talking to TransUnion? Are we talking to Equifax? All right. I just recently looked at my report. I saw some hard inquiries that do not have do not have permissible purpose. Can you reinvestigate the inquiries listed below? I also attach the evidence. All right. So we have evidence, like I said, to actually show that these accounts or these inquiries don't have permissible purpose. All right. So put the name of the inquiry and the date that it actually happened. This this inquiry has no permissible purpose, purpose to be on my report delete this inquiry due to violation of 15 usc 1681b all right and then you just list all the inquiries on your report and you can also get this notarized as well add two forms of identification and send it certified to the credit bureaus but you already know sometimes they like to play crazy so what you need to do now is after you create your letter you want to file a complaint of course we have to wait our time wait your 35 days to see if they got deleted but if they don't get removed from your credit report guess what let me show you how to file a complaint with the cfpb to actually get these things removed from your credit report all right so let me show you so here's how you're going to actually file a complaint with the cfpb to remove them hard inquiries all right like i said they play crazy so sometimes you just gotta you know do what you need to do to get these things removed from your credit report all right so the credit bills don't the credit bills don't care about us all right so you got to do what you got to do to get these hard inquiries removed from your credit report all right and we doing everything according to the law so we're not breaking nothing. We sent the letter out. They didn't respond back. They didn't delete it. They broke the violet. I mean, we show the permissible purpose. Now what we're doing is show them. Um, now we complain into the CFPB for them not actually doing their job. So what you want to do now is just click on improper use of your report. You should already have an account with CFPB. That is on which best describes your problem. Um, credit inquiries on your report that you don't recognize. 
It's not that you don't recognize it, but this is the only best one that talks about um, inquiries. All right. So yes. Um, did you request information from the company? No. And now what we want to do is just click on um, next. All right. So let me go ahead and delete all this. And we and it's really simple for this. Um, I just recently looked at my report on December 1st. This is just an example. I saw some hard inquiries that did not have a principal purpose. I sent a letter to Experian on December 2nd. Here is my tracking number, one, two, three, four, five. And I asked them to investigate this, but they still haven't fixed the problem. Can you investigate this matter? I also attached the evidence below. All right. And if you want to, you can add that specific law of 15 USC 1681B. All right. And that's the permissible purpose law. All right. And what you want to do now is just ask them just like we did before to delete these hard inquiries off of your report. So all you have to do is just scroll down and then click on this and then just tell them what you want removed and then also attach that evidence. All right. Because guess what? You highlight everything that don't have permissible purpose and show them that, Hey, this doesn't have permissible purpose. You highlight the letter, put a name in the choir. This choir has no permissible purpose to be on my report. This inquiry has no permissible purpose to be on my report. Delete this inquiry due to violation of 15 USD 1681B. All right. Uh, that's all what we're doing and who we complaining against. So all you have to do is just click on next and either who are you talking to? Are you talking to Experian, TransUnion, Equifax? Um, this is just an example. We're looking for Experian. Rachel Solution. If it's Equifax, Put that one social name as appears date of birth and you already know how to fill all this information out and then click on next all right so has any accounts ever come back on your credit report due to you know have your accounts ever got reinserted well let me walk you through the process of what you need to do to get them accounts that got reinserted back on your credit report all right so what the process looks like um what you want to do first is get your report all right because according to 15 USC 1681I5B, um, they supposed to quote unquote certify that these inquiries, uh, I mean, not these inquiries, that these um, accounts that got reinserted was completely inaccurate and all that, all right? You can read that specific law, but they quote unquote said they certified and made sure everything is good and they added it back on your credit report. But if you look at that specific account, I'm pretty sure it's still incomplete and inaccurate. I'm pretty sure the dates is going to be wrong. All that information is going to be wrong. Like we always see on every single report, all right, or every single account. So what you want to do now is just create a letter. And let me walk you through the process of how to create a letter to get this account removed from your credit report due to the law. All right. So here's what it's going to look like. All right. So what we want to do is put your, you already know, name, address, date, put a credit bureau who you're addressing this to, um, experience, trans unit, Equifax. Um, I just recently, I just recently looked at my report and there was an account that was listed below that was reinserted. Can you reinvestigate that? Can you reinvestigate the account listed below? All right. Under section 15 USC 1681 5B, if any information is deleted from a consumer file pursuant to subparagraph A, the information may not be reinserted in the file by the consumer reporting agency unless the person who furnished the information certifies. Now, I don't know what they mean by certify. That information is complete and accurate. And I'm pretty sure if you look at your report, it's not complete and accurate, right? And this account is not complete and accurate, all right? So name and account number, all right? Reinvestigate the completeness. Reinvestigate the completeness and accuracy of every piece of information. And if it's not accurate, please remove it from my credit report, all right? And just list the account that got reinserted. And then you can also, um, once you reinvestigate and delete this account, Please send me a copy of an updated report. Thank you. First name, last name. And then that's pretty much it. You can get this notarized as well, but you have to wait your time. So wait your 35 days. And if they act crazy, let me show you how to file a complaint with the CFPB. So how do you file a complaint? You should be on a screen that looks similar to this. All right, go through the process, click on credit reporting and credit reporting again. And then now you should be on a screen that looks similar to this. So now what you want to do is just click on incorrect information on your report. All right. Now, the one that you want to use that best describes this is old information repairs and never goes away. All right. And that's the best one. Have you already tried to fix this problem? Yes. Did you request? No. What we want to do now is just click on next. All right. Now, once we click on next, it's going to be the same exact process. We just delete, um, laying out a detail 
um, description of basically what happened, all right? So now what you wanna do is write up your complaint, all right? Now here's what you wanna say. I looked at my report back on December 1st. There was an account that was reinserted. I sent the letter to Experian on December 2nd, 2023. I asked them to reinvestigate this, but they still haven't fixed the problem. I don't know what else to do. Can you look into this matter? Under 15 USC, and it basically breaks down the law, all right? But I like, but the account is not accurate. Look at the attachments below, all right? And you want to show that this account is not accurate, all right? Now, what do you do next? Basically, tell them what you want to do. You want them to remove that account off your credit report, all right? So what you want to do is just tell them specifically, click on this, name account, remove account from my report due to violation of 15 USC 1681 I5B, and that's upload the documents all right now once you upload the documents you want to click on next and basically who you're talking to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax all right and we just go through the same exact process um don't complain with nobody else just one person at a time all right now as you know the process to remove your personal information now sometimes the credit bureaus like to play crazy so how do you go about removing your personal information from your credit report all right so what you want to do is First and foremost, you want to get your report, all right? Now, the one that's really detailed is Experian, all right? So they're going to have variations of your first name, variations of your last name. They're going to show a lot of um, stuff, but you want to get that information, all right? So you want to gather intel to actually remove this personal information from your credit report, all right? So how do you go about doing this? You want to create a letter, all right? Now, here's the letter that you actually want to create instead. Now, it's just basically... Is showing you how, well, it's basically stating how to remove personal information. So current date, first name, last name, in that nature, all right? I'm not gonna read this whole letter, but what you wanna do is put all the incorrect addresses, put all the incorrect names, um, employees, or I mean not employees, employers off of your credit report, all right? So just list everything that's inaccurate and then send the letter. Now, typically you don't have to wait 30 to 35 days for the, it usually takes, um, much quicker to remove personal information but just wait the time see if they remove it see if anything got updated or anything um you can call Experian, you can call treasure you can call equifax to see that they got the letter and if they fix it or not now if they didn't fix you already know what we about to do we want to file the complaint all right so let me just walk you through the process on actually how to do this now when it comes to removing your personal information all you have to do is just click on this one and correct information on your report all right information belongs to someone else, information is missing, account, account status, personal information is incorrect, all right? That's the one we wanna click on. Have you already tried to fix the problem? Yes, no. And then what we wanna do is just click on next, all right? Now, what we wanna do is just lay out a detailed thing of what happened um, when it comes to removing your personal information. So I looked at my report on December 1st and noticed my personal information was incorrect. I had multiple variations of my first name and last name and my address. I sent a letter to Experian on December 2nd, asking them to investigate this, but they still haven't fixed the problem. I don't know what else to do. Can you look into this matter? And then what you wanna do is um, attach, um, what do you want to happen? Remove my personal information, all right? Now what you wanna do is of course attach that personal information that letter that we um already sent to the credit bureaus so make sure you send this certified two forms of identification and all that right but attach that letter and what we want to do now is just click on next and who are we addressing this to experience transunion equifax just make sure you address one person at a time and then that's pretty much it